morning of day two. We need one more turkey to go four for four. There's our decoys on the road in front of us. And although you won't see it because of the darkness, we are back in trusty old number 11, the wooden double bull blind. Uh, I regretfully report that the video from yesterday that I shot is all messed up. So we're going to do it again.
it's over. Limit. My bad. That's four for four. Love you. <laughs> Thanks for coming down. <laughs> Welcome to Texas. Dude, did that thing walk right by the blind or what? Did you see me looking? I heard him spitting and drumming right here. He has good spurs. He's hitting you in the butt. He's got good spurs. I checked him before I shot him. <laughs> All right, everybody in, in TV land, that is our fourth bird. Look Look at the hooks on this thing. Hold on, let me get a close-up. Look, this is what you get in South Texas when you had a bad season and all the turkeys are three years old. <laughs> Holy crap, Raven. Oh, dude. Those are sick. We have four giant turkeys. All right, we're going to go back out. Come out to the open air. He walked right past us. Come on. This is South right Texas, here? my friends. Skirt. Yeah. Right yeah, I know. He walked right by the blind. Where do you think he came through? Right here? Right here. I heard him spitting and He come right through here or did he come over here? Right here. He was right here when I first saw him. Man, he come right past the blind. He's, this is trusty number 11 for everybody at home. And uh, I'll tell you what. You cannot beat the Guajolute is the name of our shack right here. And that turkey walked right past us and he walked over there. He beat up the wrong decoy and then uh, Lev punched him in the face. Sweet. We're down here in South Texas and normally in Pennsylvania we roost birds, spend all that time with them, kind of figure out where they're going. But I'm telling you, you come down here, the hunting is different. There's only like five or six places where the turkeys can get water on this ranch and they hang around that water all day. So you might be thinking this is kind of chintzy to sit in this blind. It's fun. But it is absolute magic <laughs> when the water, and you can, uh, you'll see on the video, the water's like 80 yards from us so we can't shoot them on the water in the feeder. Go ahead and feed that, Jay. Take, take some footage on that. That's the decoys. The water's clean out. That's the water hole. That's about 85 yards of water. So when you come down here, my only advice is, if Mr. Dan tells you to hang around the water source and uh, maybe get comfy in one of these blinds, do it. That is the right way to go. So we're gonna sit back and maybe we'll get some more turkeys in here and lay down some footage, but we are absolutely done. Four for four in a day and a half. Lev, thanks for coming down, man. Hey, welcome to turkey hunting with Jason and Steve. I'm Steve, that's my friend Jason. And you're joining us here in South Texas, about 40 miles south of San Antonio. And today we are hunting with Dan Moody Outfitters. Uh, Dan has really set us up on a good farm. We've seen, I, I'm going to say 100 turkeys in a day and a half, maybe more, a few less. But this is number four. This tags us out. I got two yesterday. Jason got one yesterday. And about 15 minutes ago, we had one walk right up to our decoys. So if you ever want a good turkey hunt and you're looking for a good guy to hang out with and spend time with him and his family, Dan Moody's your guy. Give him a call. And uh, we'll see you somewhere from a turkey roost, somewhere in the United States, probably Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, South Dakota in a couple of weeks. Take care, and we'll see you guys at the show. And they say everything will stick you, prick you, and bite you down here, including the turkeys. Look, Look at, at the spurs ones. on that. All four. Take care, guys.